Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and I'm gonna be talking about Sjogren's today. So I've said this before, dry mouth, dry eyes, dry everything. It's Sjogren's Awareness Month. So what is Sjogren's? Sjogren's is an autoimmune disease. So that means that your cells are attacking you. And in this case, they're attacking your moisture producing glands such as saliva glands or your tear ducts in your eyes, just complete dryness all over. So the most common symptoms of Sjogren's are dry mouth and dry eyes, but Sjogren's can affect any organ in the body, your kidneys, your lungs, liver, even the brain. There's so many things to this disease. In my case, since I got diagnosed with Sjogren's after lupus, it's called secondary Sjogren's. About half the time you can be diagnosed with just Sjogren's and that'll be primary Sjogren's. So here are some fast facts about Sjogren's. Nine out of 10 of those diagnosed with Sjogren's are women. Very similar to lupus, sister disease. Sjogren's is actually one of the most prevalent diseases it affects 4 million Americans, and in comparison to lupus, it's 1.5 million Americans at least. It's pretty crazy because not many people recognize this disease, or and it's not very out there. Where if you search hashtags involving lupus for Sjogren's, you're going to get a lot more for lupus. So, this is worth talking about. The average age of diagnosis of Sjogren's is about the age of 40. So, mid-age, you know but anyone can have it. I'm 25 and I have Sjogren's and lupus, so, you know. So some symptoms of Sjogren's. Now remember, everyone is different. Everyone has different symptoms and the disease can affect them in different ways. But symptoms of Sjogren's are dry and gritty or burning sensation in the eyes, dry mouth, difficulty talking. See, look, I couldn't talk right there but that's just a me thing. Okay, sore or cracked tongue, dry or burning throat, dry peeling lips, change in taste or smell, increased dental decay, joint pain, digestive problems, dry nose, and fatigue. Those are to just name a few. Like I said, in more progressive cases, it can affect your lungs along with other organs in the body, so Definitely Sjogren's is something if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you'll want to go to your doctor and make sure it's not just dry eyes or dry mouth and that you're good to go. And if you are diagnosed with Sjogren's, just make sure you're getting the proper treatment and going into your doctor and getting it taken care of. Of course, living with Sjogren's is no fun. And that's why I want to bring this video of awareness. So please like this video, share it with your friends. You know, especially if you're going through it yourself, share the word of what Sjogren's is. It's not talked about like it should be. And yeah, that is all for today. I will see you next time and bye.